What's good everybody? Today I'm gonna teach you how to cartoon you guys a so. Now, one of the things I do recommend when it comes to digital art is a good art program. I use Clip Studio Paint from Amazon, there's like 60 books on there. And on top of that, you're gonna need a pen tablet. It's really good, trust me. I use that a lot. You, you get better results when it comes to art, so yeah, I like to use that. So, and is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything. So let's hop right to the tutorial and I'm switch over to my screen. All right, guys. So once you open up that art program, the first thing you want to do is obviously trace um, your face features. So basically, your lines are your, like your foundation in art. If you don't have that good, like if your lines are looking good, then the art isn't gonna look good itself. But sometimes the line, like sometimes some art don't really need lines. Like you don't need like the black depth lines. And, you know, you can make art and and like cartoons and stuff without. You know, how do you say like showing? the lines you could just go freehand i guess you could call it but for these cartoons that i do for people you know lines are important so you could go in depth with them you can make them big you can make them small but sometimes it varies but i like to make them uh i like to switch up so usually for the nose and like stuff like that like i'll go i'll start the line like really small and then towards and i'll make it like big so that way it adds like more depth to it but I mean, it's your choice, you know, if it looks right to you, it looks right to you, but yeah. Alright, so once you feel so confident in that line work, guys, now we move on to the coloring. What I do recommend is to color each face feature in different layers because if you don't, if you color everything in one layer, trust me, you're gonna have a lot of problems. So, like, for example, color the lips and the eyes in one layer and make another layer or like duplicate the, the your base foundation lines or whatever. And then you wanna color the face like in a different layer. And that way it's easier. So you could like, shade and all that all right guys so once you move on to the coloring now we move into the shading sometimes you don't really need to shade depending on the picture but when you do what you do is on another layer you uh, get a darker color 
from the skin tone of your, your base color or whatever and then you follow the shadows on like the picture that you have that way it can be more accurate and probably adjust the way the shadows look Alright guys, so this is the final product. Hey, I hope that really helped you out with this tutorial. As my first art tutorial, you know, I hope I explained everything like quickly. Well, not quickly, but just like brief what really we should do. I mean, later on, you know, if this video gets gets a good hit, then I'll probably make another one and go more into depth in each step. This is just like a brief on like what I do and like the steps that I really do when I make my art. So yeah. Again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe like any other video, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and yeah.